everybody, today I'm going to be showing you two models of these Bissells. The purple edition and the blue edition. They have basically absolutely no difference than color. Color, they look exactly the same thing. They both empty the same. So today's not going to be a really much of a test video. Today's going to be like how to clean your filters on Bissels. How to do clean your Bissels. Because I've done how to do maintenance and I've done an actual Bissell video with a blue one. I have another blue one, but didn't bring that one out. So the only difference is here is this is a 2191, the blue one. This is a 2191U, the purple one. So, I think it's just color difference is the difference between these two vacuums. Um, they both have this little thing to put your cord on. This one's a little heavy. So now we're going to look at a brush holders on it. And we'll also look at attachments in a minute. So let's take a look. This one has a blue bristled brush roller, and this one has a purple one. And the plates are different. Do they spin well? This one spins well. How about this one? This one spins well. But the only problem with this one is I see a big cloggage. A big cloggage. Right in there. Yep, we're going to have to do some taking apart on this video. Um, and I'll also show you how to take it apart if you haven't looked at our maintenance video. And before we go into any more of the video, make sure you subscribe to Vincent's Vacuums. And we will get into a real test. So now we're going to test each vacuum. Now I know this one's really loud. We're going to get unplugged in. And we'll start. So now we're going to be doing the test. So we'll move the purple bristle off this side. And warning, you might want to turn down your TV for this. You might, you might want to turn it down because this is a really loud. So you ready everybody? You got to make sure to like and subscribe for this. Here we go. Mm -hmm. So it did a good job, but it's really loud. So you can turn up your voice now on the TV. So you can see it did quite a good job. The carpet's really warm, probably because of it agitating with that brush roller. So we'll move that contest contestant off to the side. So we already know one problem with that one, it's really loud. So now, we're going to try this purple one. This one's going to be fine. I see the problem. It smells really bad. Alright, so as I showed you, there's a cloggage in it, and that's why it's not picking up any of this dust. And the smell and that's basically all with this vacuum and we'll have a working vacuum here um so we're going to show you how to fix this purple bristle and then we'll vacuum it up again and we'll find out what's going on all right so now we're going to open this one up and see always make sure your cord is unplugged before you do any maintenance on any vacuum cleaner so, here we are, the first floor. So you're going to take a screwdriver. And you're 
get down through your screws. This is probably what started the clog. This is probably what started the clog right here. This little um, band. Let's first take out the brush roller. Alright, so there's our brush roller. There's also a clog and drain in here. So, oh wow, that's a massive clogage. I see it. All right, everybody. You always want to look for cloggages from here to here because if if you have a cloggage from there to here, then well, you're gonna have to. You're going to have to do a little work. But first thing you check is make sure you can see all the way through the hose. Can you see all the way through? You can see all the way through the hose? Good viewers. So we're going to put that to the side. And now we're bringing something really big. And this, and this video is not sponsored by Richard. Also, make sure you check in here too. Not just in here, from here to here. Make sure you check in here as well. Because this is where you're likely to find a cloggage. Alright now, now we're going to blow everything with the Richard Shop back vacuum cleaner. And this is one of the most powerful machines I've ever had. Alright everybody, now we're going to blow it out through this side. So, this is how it's going to work, basically. Basically, it's just going to come right out through this little hole. Alright, everybody. Are we ready? Get set. Go! <laughs> Here's what it was. That was that started clogging it. And probably that, whatever that is. Also, if your wheel is spinning, if your um, brush roll is spinning really fast, because right here, see if take apart it and see if your belt has come off. Our belt has not come off, but if your belt has come off, then that also indicates that your it's not gonna be spinning. Um, and make sure you have strong bristles. That's what's agitating the carpet, and that's what's getting all the stuff up. But that was really cool. So, if you can't see that, then please replay your video. Because that was really cool. So now we're gonna suck up this dirt now that got left on the carpet. <laughs> everybody so now we're going to put it back together
Alright. So, we're putting the brush roller back together. So now you got to put your plate on and make sure you have all Make sure you have all six screws. As you can see right here, all six screws. Now if you want to, you can vacuum your plate a little bit. So make sure you line it up on the bottom and then place it. Then put in your screws. everybody we are just tightening that and now I think we got fully functioning vacuum cleaner so now we're going to show you the filters and how to wash them and it also says right here washable filters so you're going to lift this up oh look at that so we're going to be showing you how to do some maintenance on the filter because the filter is pretty messy and we're gonna clean it. That's the only thing when you buy these bagless vacuum cleaners is you gotta clean your filters on these when you buy these bagless vacuum cleaners. It's because this is how vacuum cleaner's life is. All right, we're gonna take out the filter. This is what it's supposed to look like and this is what it looks like. So if you have like a little porch or something, just tap it on there. If you don't, just tap it on something outside of your house. All right, everybody. We got our filter. Doesn't that look a lot cleaner than it did? Replay that moment what it did look like before. And now what it looks like. So now you're going to push your filter back in. This is how your your filter breathes. So this was definitely had some rocks or stuff in it. So I'm going to empty this out. So now we're going to empty the trash inside of this. So let's empty it. Alright, so let's put it back in. So now this vacuum should work. It should. Now that we've res resumed its cloggage, it should work now. All right, everybody, now we're gonna try the vacuum out and we're gonna see how is it. Do we fix it or do we not fix it? Here we go. <laughs>
several more passes than the blue missiles that we had. It took a more, couple more passes than this guy had. So comparing these two machines, probably the winner, even though these have been used, probably the winner is going to be, with suction, this one. The sound test is this one one. Because this one was really loud. I don't know if it's supposed to be loud. I don't really feel like it's supposed to be loud, but maybe I'll find that out. But this vacuum did a good job. Um, definitely took a couple more passes than this one did, because this one was the loud one, and for some reason. So, the winner is the Blue Power Force Helix Vacuum Cleaner. So, this one agitates the carpet really good. It took about maybe two tries, one coming down, one coming back up. It picked up almost everything. So, we might need to do some more maintenance in the future, and that will probably... It'll probably equal the same amount of passes if I do some more maintenance on this one. Um, yeah. And we never did take a look at the filter on the blue one. So let's take a look at this. Not bad. Not bad. This is what we got. Alright, let's put our filter back in. Close it. And put it back in. So that's the end of this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.